Hello, my name is Elizabeth Martin. I'm actually going to show you one of the projects that I've been working in REST for. Um, REST is actually a beginner programming tool that I use during H Hagerstown Community College. This is one of the games that I designed for it called REST. If anyone knows the board game, that's what I decided to do. Now I'm going to show you exactly what it's going to go, well, what it's going to be doing. So I'm going to go in here, I'm gonna hit play. It wasn't supposed to show that. This is my introduction. This logo has actually been changed. No longer my logo anymore. So here's the board game. What's it going to do? I have instructions up here. You saw that little bubble that was popping up. You quit it. This will log right out of the game and you can hit play right here, which is what I'm going to do. It's going to fade out. This is actually an introduction, like cinematic scene that I created, just to make it more 3D-like because that's what our professor wanted at the time. So I decided to do this. You can't skip it, so I decided to go with like one of those old PlayStation-style games. You can't skip. This took me a while. The camera, doing all these camera angles was actually very, very annoying. I couldn't figure it out. Most of the time it won't even work. Um, these little figures right here, like the policemen and everything, well, they're supposed to be army of submarine guys. Um, the water actually is moving. I created a, well, um, not going on that much. Now, you can actually select a number of players. Unfortunately, I was not able to configure the two, three, or four players. So usually, if you're going to select these, it's actually will not run. It'll run to a point but it won't run it directly into the game. So I hit player one. Now, let's select your territory. Now I did, was able to uh, do some AI in here, which, which, um, it, it was pretty difficult because I had to create a lot of variables and everything. These were the computer 2, 3, and 4. I think I changed this. But each flag is actually behind all these red dots. I couldn't figure out a better way to do this. So the player 1, you're going to have purple and so and so. So I'm going to go ahead and select my territory. That's weird. I actually fixed all of these, but I guess I didn't save it, so I'm not sure why it's doing that. It shouldn't be doing that at all. So you got a one. These dots will actually tell you how many players you have on each one as soon as you select it. Two. And I'm put one Argentina and one. I'm sure what else this is doing. If it's gonna work, ah, oh, there we go. Click on the black squares if you want to see that the this turns red. You can attack. So 
So here you can see how many players each guy did. This guy actually did four, which is odd. They did two, two, four, then your players. Here's the thing about this. What I did not code is that you can only attack your neighboring thing as I can actually attack whoever wants which is not right. So go ahead and hit attack. Which apparently doesn't want to work. For some more reason. It's working earlier. Okay. Come on. This is really weird. It was working before, now it's not, so I don't know what it's doing. Oh, well, there we go. Now it starts working. That was weird. These, I'm not going into much on these. It'll roll the dice, and I actually set them up to actually act like the wrist dice. And I won. This is about as far as I got into the game. So I do that. Which is one. So I won. So I can probably add another flag since I won. Which is great. And I can attack again. And I won again. <laughs> Some luck. So I should have another, which I don't see it here, which... Okay. Guess it'll want to work. But probably what I'm going to do is that I know that Alice 3 is finally out. If you guys like, I can probably try to reprogram into this into Alice 3 and make it a tad bit better. But I hope you guys like this video and you can go ahead and subscribe to me if you like.